I'm German. I was born in Hamburg. Uh, I have a very German last name. It's uh, Weisbrot, which means white bread. Um, it was a great um, fun and joy for my um, fellow uh, friends when I was uh, young. There's many very funny jokes that you can make with this last name. Um, I studied opera directing. I was very, I, I, at a young age, I, I, my, my parents sort of gave me a lot of classical education. Um, I was in a boys' choir for a long time. I was the, the, always the shortest in boys' choir. I was always sort of standing in the first row, and then very often also fainting because it was so hot and stuffy in those concerts. Um, and uh, had piano lessons from the age of seven, I think, until about 26 or 27. Um, so I was always very fascinated with uh, the arts and culture, and, and my parents took me to the opera and to the theater and to the museums in Hamburg, where there was a very lively sort of cultural life. My first experience that left a very deep uh, impression on me, I think even such a deep impression that I had fever afterwards and was in bed for like three or four days, was an exhibition of um, uh, King Tut, the uh, sculptures that they found in, in, in his grave. I think I was, must have been like around eight years old or whatever, and I remember with my parents going into the rooms that were very dark, and then you had these incredibly beautiful, uh, strange, golden and whatever uh, pieces. And um, I totally fell ill afterwards. And uh, my sort of only uh, consolation was the uh, exhibition catalog that my parents uh, bought me. And by the end of, once I was uh, better again, I um, knew it by heart. I knew like every page, I knew what the next page was going to be and what the page after was going to be. Being the artistic production director of the uh, State Opera House in Berlin, um, and then did that for five years and was responsible for programming sort of an alternative uh, space that they had there, but was also involved very much with the uh, programming in the main um, theater, um, and then was called again by Robert Wilson to uh, become his manager and agent uh, in New York, and uh, the creative director um, of the or the director of the uh, the Watermill Center, which is a, a center on Long Island um, for emerging artists that he founded in in the early 90s. I mean, what I really love about Toronto is flying into Toronto and sort of having this complete vastness of nature when you look on, you know, to one window side where you don't see any civilization at all and then you sort of look over and on the other side you have this incredible skyline of the city which is kind of really an amazing, um, an amazing uh, um, feature of Toronto. My hope is to really sort of take these different ingredients these different uh, uh, from these different disciplines and like a cook um, bring them all together or bring parts of them together and create amazing meals that people can um, consume and know that this is something that they've only been able to experience in this city that this is something that was created here I think also it's probably the last time that both Wilson and Glass are going to be involved in a revival of Einstein on the beach. And it will also pose the question, is this a piece that they can let go of for the future and actually give over, a uh, handover even to a new generation of, of a, for a creative team, for, for you know, a director, a designer, or whatever, to come in and interpret? 